Hello guys and welcome. This is Play of the J here and bringing to you live is going to be the Battle Arena scrims for tonight. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch round number one. I was on the way back home from dinner. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and pick up here from uh, where round two uh, is going to start in just a little bit here. And uh, as per tradition here on Battle Arena scrims, we will be seeing round number two being played on Miramar. And then we will be back to Erangel. And then the last map is going to be Miramar once again. So hope you are all having a good evening over here. Looking forward to getting into some casting here for these uh, PUBG scrims. So I'm just going to get a couple things ready here and we shall be getting in pretty soon. So yeah, while well, we're waiting guys, so just to introduce some of the teams that we have for you this evening. We actually have 21 teams here, um, so I don't have all the names here, so some of them are going to be substituted. So uh, team number one is going to be 101 Error. Team number two is going to be Team Jesus. Okay, that's not one of the ones that I substituted. Team number three is going to be Red Sea MP. Team four is going to be Strive Gaming. Team five is going to be GIF Esports. Team six is going to be Team MSK. Team 7 will be Fluxus Jaeger, Jaeger King. And uh, Team 8 will be FJG. Team 9 will be 50 50. Team 10 is a mixed team. Team 11, Makandurian Jap. Uh, team 12 will be FFG. 13 will be 1 Esports. Uh, Zook Nightmare for Team 14. And uh, yeah, we will be seeing. Uh, team 15 will be Horny Uncles. Team 16 will be Team Crayon. Team 17 will be UGM. Team 18 will be Team 1. And uh, Team 19 will be Quacker. Team 20 will be Padu Madu. And Team six, uh, 21 will be 6 Gaming. So we see that this uh, plane is going to be all the way from Los Higos, all the way up to Tori Ahumada. So now we will be seeing how the rest of these teams are going to be faring at the moment. It looks like uh, we already have... Uh, Fluxus Jaeger King here, um, moving out towards uh, Valle del Mar. I do believe that's going to be them. Uh, I can't double check on that one. Um, actually, I'm not aware of what the color is for. Um, yeah, what the color is going to be for the Team 21. So we're going to have to figure that one out together a bit later, guys. So yeah, in any case, uh, let's see how the rest of this is going to pan out. We already see a lot going to Tumatera area here. It's going to be Team Cray on there sharing the spoils with um, FFG, if not mistaken. FFG uh, struggling a little bit further away. 101 Error is also in town, as is uh, Strive Gaming here. Picado is going to see GIF Esports have it pretty much all to themselves here uh, for the time being. But now looking at Tumatera here on the higher tier, we have two teams. It's going to be 101 Error, and it looks as though uh, Balala able to get the first... Uh, knock there with the S12K here and he takes a little bit of damage, but he should be okay But I think there is going to be a little bit more presence from 101 error here to try and uh, stop this from escalating too badly, but the rest of uh Strive Gaming here is not very close to Balala at the moment. They're going to have to maneuver themselves around here and try and see what kind of position that they can get to assist Balala. He's just going to try and hide in that concrete garage for the time being and it looks like Galax will be uh Res here by a casual elitist. He's just trying to make sure that he spotted uh, everyone else here. Best get wrecked and Knoxville are here to support. And Team Crayon is going to be on the lower tiers here as they are a little bit more spread out. But we already see, ooh, A6 for 6 gaming here getting on the board. Um, so, okay, I can already see that I'm going to confuse uh, Team 21 with Team 12. But we will try and do the best that we can. And uh, looking at this, the circle is going to be all the way in the northeastern side of the map, guys. And uh, that's going to be a little bit interesting to see how that one pans out. But uh, here is where the confrontation did take place between uh, Six Gaming and uh, Zook Nightmare here. So um, that's going to be interesting as well. Uh, but now looking at that Quacker... Uh, or rather, six gaming here it does have Quacker here, uh, able to get 
Babcock with the Molotov here, but I think he's just finishing him off as well. But it looks like Balala going to town here in that hiding spot that he does have, but it looks like casual elite is gonna catch him back out. And uh, that's gonna be it for him after he picks up two kills here in this early game. But best get red Galax and casual elite is, or rather he only picked up one kill. Sorry, Galax has been res here. So now the other three team members from uh, Strive Gaming here, just gonna put uh, a little bit more of a concerted effort here as they consolidate their position. But now it looks like so they are gonna start returning fire. Galax caught out a little bit here, but looks like Casual Elite is gonna get caught out. And now we do see that the push is gonna be coming here from Strive Gaming. So Strive Gaming gonna try and do what they can. They do have a good spread here, getting a lot of angles, but it looks like Best Get Wreck and Galax are gonna pull away into that uh, double story office building here as they do wanna try and get a little bit of a flank while they're getting the res up they only have one gun currently looking over here and galax going to push back a little bit as they try to potentially fend off this push but now galaxy are going to be able to get that shot onto manjura and looks like that's going to be it for him now the rest of uh the, the team members are coming in through here but it looks like oh they get another knockdown there and Ferris here is going to get down best get wrecked but he's going to have to play it a little careful here now all these other teams here most of the teams are not inside the zone right now so that's going to be interesting whether or not these teams are going to actually try and make moves a little bit earlier than later so yeah, we'll wait and see uh, i think these guys have played enough scrims you know to realize exactly when they should be moving but looking at this uh Padumadu here taking it early knock and kill there from ffg so ffg uh does actually have problems there as uh they do have someone nearby but it looks like the bss shot coming in from disciple is going to be good and now it looks like adul taking a little bit of fire here he's going to try and get the the res off here with the smoke and the cover it should be no problem for the time being but things might be heating up so further here as uh, we already see that uh, the other two team members of 101 error are starting to move out here and trying to get a position on fairies. But these guys can't be too engaged in this fight here as uh, they are going to really be getting into a very tight spot. But now it looks like the team members from FFG are going to make a dash for that compound after Meow is eerie is putting a lot of fire. It looks like fairies actually goes down and that's going to be it for... Uh, the rest of Strive Gaming here in game number two, as uh, now there are going to be 20 teams left. So yeah, we do have actually 21 teams here for a change, guys. So that's going to be uh, more action for the rest of us here. So hopefully that's going to be interesting to see here. But now we will be seeing exactly like how the rest of this is going to be uh, panning out here. As now here in San Martin, we do actually see that Team Quacker here is uh, actually moving in onto uh, this multi-story building here. There are going to be the team members from ONE over here, or ONE. So ONE just going to try and... Uh, uh, congest the area a little bit here as they can try and support each other but Skyrex and Legendary 6 gonna have some good vision here over this rest of the city so it'll be interesting to see how that part is gonna pan out for the time being and uh, now let's see how the rest of this actually works out um, now looking at uh, things a lot of teams already in rotation we already see that uh, ONE esports here also on the move at the moment and in Picado we already see GIF esports here uh, trying to shoot at the rotation in Coming out from uh, FFG at the moment, but it looks like MX518 here just going to get away just in the right amount of time. And to the south here, we do have the rotation coming in from Padumadu, but it looks like Meow Eerie going to take the long way around there uh, to try and get around that. But now it looks like uh, Team ONE here uh, going to town as well as uh, Team Cracker as well. Looks like I Cry Sim going down here. Skyrax is down as well, but he should be res, no problem. But I Cry Sim here, I'm not sure what can be done here. The nade is coming out already. Ready. and uh, just in a really dire spot at the moment Aplux does actually have good vision on this area here so I don't think Doyu can really help him too much if there's going to be another nade coming out so it uh, looks like uh, for the time being it's going to be okay Aplux might not have enough frags on him at the moment uh, Skyrex is back up here for the time being but currently not in a good position to able to finish off a high cry sim so Doyu are going to be able to come out with the res there now the rest of the teams are making their way in over here now mixed team uh, 10 already is uh, currently in Al-Azhar, having the place all to themselves. But now it looks like 
uh, Arplux here just going to try and use that vantage point a little bit here as he tries to prevent further advancement. But looks like uh, Willix here going to put some shots back on towards them. But it looks like Skyrex here taking a little bit of hits himself. But Arplux is all alone by himself. But looks like Doyu able to knock down Skyrex here. So nice play from him. And uh, now looks like uh, Team Quacker here in a little bit of trouble. They only have, uh, I think, one other team member here, Legendary Six, who who currently is just right out in the open here. So he might actually decide to bug out a little bit and see how far he can get. Blue zone is on the move, guys. So all these other teams here are still way behind in their rotation. See, Crayon is incredibly spray spaced out here for the time being. So we're going to have to see how that part actually pans out to a certain extent. Uh, but now, looking at uh, how things are going, we already see the rotation coming out from Give Esport. It's uh, going to be colliding slightly with the rest of the, the other rotating teams. So yeah, all these teams are making their rotations here inside the circle. I think we only still see that 101 error is still in Chumachera at the moment, whereas we do see other teams here moving in as well. Team Crayon finally uh, making their own moves here. But now things are getting a little bit crowded at the moment, as we do see that a lot of the central spots in the circle are starting to be taken up here. And now we see that ONE is able to knock down Vertsy here. So it looks like FFG going to be one more player down here, or one player down depending oh no one player down as they still have three team members left up so now looking at uh, other rotations we already see that over here Udin the king and the rest of uh, Fluxus Jaeger king here gonna try and put some hurt onto the rotating team of team Jesus but yes team Jesus remains unscathed there so well done team Jesus go and get that chicken dinner Yes, okay, well enough of that. Let's uh, see how this next circle is going to play out, guys. But now looking at it, it's going to be very central. So a lot of these teams all uh, guessing correctly here as they all manage to get in there. And now we will be looking to see how the rest of this is going to develop. All these northern teams here. I think this is uh, Makanduria and Jap here. And they're going to have to make their moves as well. But looking at uh, this compound here, all the way on the eastern side, we see that the Padu Madu team members here that managed to uh, pull out from those earlier engagements is uh, duking it out a little bit here with the rest of Horny Uncle. So Horny Uncle's just going to try and do the best they can. I, I would imagine that Foxtrot took a little bit of hits here so far. Now he's going to just back down a little bit, maybe get some res uh, or heals off for the time being. But Kunchan and Meow Eerie just going to try and hold the fort. They can't exactly disengage here. I don't think either of these teams do have uh, vehicles. At, oh, there is uh, two vehicles here at their disposal. They just want to finish this off. Uh, oh, with an eight coming out there, but unfortunately it's a little bit too far. So Kunchan gonna be getting away with that. But now things are heating up here in the center of the circle. Uh, we already see that uh, a lot of these teams getting caught here in rotation. This is Team O&E losing Wilkes here as Mr. Pa is able to knock him down for GIF Esports. But there is going to be a lot of third party action and looks like Doyu gonna go down this time to Rain Zera and Zook Nightmare. So looks like... Uh, they're going to claim the, the Doyu kill and Mr. Pa's going to claim his kill. So no no uh, kill steal shenanigans here. But it does look like GIF Esports is uh, rather uh, congested over here right in the center here. A little bit more center than the rest of uh, Zook Nightmare. Red Sea is also taking up position here as is ONE Esports. And uh, now we will be looking to see how the rest is going to be... Uh, working out for the time being. We already see that 6 Gaming here, Team 21, is actually putting some long-range shots onto Team Jesus, but they're not landing, yes! So yes, in any case, um, there's still quite a bit of distance here. So it depends whether these teams actually do want to uh, try and uh, risk their, their own uh, armor here uh, for actually uh, taking it or putting some hits that they maybe won't be able to confirm the kills at this stage. but. Looks like 101 error is still a little bit caught out here and uh, could be a little bit of a, or an odd one, but looks like Flux's Jaeger King loses Old Man here. So unfortunately, he who was a little bit separated from the rest of his team. They're all trying to rotate and find a good spot here inside the zone. But looks like uh, circle number two is actually moving in as, at the moment and teams don't have much time. And it looks like uh, even we see Horny Uncles here avoiding... Uh, Facing off against Parumaru here. Parumaru just going to hold up inside that compound for the time being. As uh, they, they can afford to take their time. But a bit strange that Horny Uncle's not taking the, the two cars there available to them. But maybe they have uh, more faith in their running abilities. And uh, yes, as we do usually see here on Play of the J, a lot of teams have a lot of their driver's licenses revoked here. So um, 
I can't blame teams for not wanting to drive, you know. If they can actually make it there on foot, then all the best for that, you know. So in any case, now let's see how the rest of this uh, is going to develop for the time being. Um, we will be looking to see the northern side going to be occupied by Makanduri and Jap. So they do have Cruise the Veil pretty much all to themselves here. And everyone is basically just holding up in their respective compounds here as they do uh, want to just try and hold their respective positions. Of course, they are putting a little bit of a, bit of a bet here on... Oh, looks like Team Jesus able to knock down NDBG. So in very good, uh, very good, excellent aim right there. It's got... Uh, Jesus seal of approval on that one but yeah in any case the, the rest should be forthcoming here from a6 uh, as I mentioned a lot of this is going to be chip damage they won't be able to really confirm any kills and the the closer that the circle gets the least likely that you're going to be able to replace that armor or that um, or the helmets that you that you lose in these kind of long-range engagements here so now looking at the circle it has shifted uh, a little bit over towards the the right side now and uh, gonna be a little bit awkward for the rest of this uh, time at the moment. But now looking at uh, how the rest of this is gonna be developing at the time being, all these other teams here on this Western uh, side of the old circle is gonna have to make a move. Even um, Squad 13, ONE Esports here, probably gonna also make their move as well because they don't wanna be caught out here in uh, in rotation uh, later on because like they're not likely to actually be inside the zone later. But now it looks like Papa Zaya going to be able to catch one of these rotate, rotating uh, teams here. As it looks like 101 error. Finish off there as Galax and Casual Elitist probably after taking so much damage from the blue, they just got nothing left here. And um, really, there's no space in this region, guys. All the compounds are pretty much taken here. So if uh, anyone wants to congest onto this area, they're going to actually have to make that uh, difficult transition in a way. But looking at how things are going to be developing here, we will be seeing other teams also making their way over. As uh, now we see a lot of teams all deciding to, to rotate through this area. Team Crayon here moving together with uh, ONE Esports here. As it looks like the team members of Team Crayon here actually abandoning one of their vehicles here. Insane Floyd getting out here. Assy Rum and Live Action going to try and uh, move a little bit further. But now it looks like as though... GIF Esports making life incredibly difficult for these uh, rotating teams here as there's uh, really not a lot of places left that they can go to in the center of the circle. Six Gaming also moving in on this position and it looks like Insane Floyd going to catch out. <laughs> MMP here and looks like his car just went absolutely flying here but now look at the crossfire that's going on here guys uh, I can't imagine that they're going to be able to survive very long in this uh, kind of environment for the time being 6 Gaming coming in close here it actually looks like Team ONE is going to expire here after they're facing a lot of problems in this side of the circle. But now, like, looking at how things are moving here, Team UGM, Squad 17, is putting shots onto Team Jesus. Oh, but luckily, Team Jesus has uh, John C. Nobody back up again. Uh, it's just whether or not they are able to reach him through the, the smoke to a certain extent. But I think he does have enough uh, terrain there to actually prevent things from actually ha happening too much. But now looking at the northern side of the circle, we already see that the team members of ONE Esports, or at least the survivors here, uh, trying to return fire onto Makanduri and Jap, but they take a little bit of hits themselves here. And they're going to really have to fight uh, the the high ground advantage that uh, the rest of Makanduri and Jap here has at their disposal. But it looks like uh, Kex is able to catch out Smaggle here. For Team Jesus, so Team Jesus is going to move onwards and upwards here. Looks like John C. Nobody knocked out again here, unfortunately. But looks like they will try to advance further up this uh, hill for the time being here. After getting that little bit of an advantage as uh, we already see that uh, UGM having to back down just a little bit here. But now Mixed Team over here, Mixed Team 10, actually putting up a lot of fire back towards... Uh, members of Makanduri and Jap. So that's going to be a nice little break for ONE Esports who had to face off against them. But now this little crossfire is actually going to make life a little bit more difficult. But it doesn't actually stop this from happening here as Nine Holy here going in for the flank here as he looks to try and surprise Cheesy Coca here and Terrence. But it looks like they're able to get the drop onto him. And now he's just so far away 
Oh, I don't think there's anything that uh, Makanduri and Japir is going to be able to do. And uh, that's going to be it for Holy as they try and utilize that terrain a little bit more. But looks like the circle is hard shifted all the way down south here. And now this is going to be a little bit awkward. You see MSK here in the center of this compound. But currently they do have the team members of FGJ here at the moment. Uh, currently on the high ground at the moment as they try and... Uh, just get a little bit more bearings here. MSK doesn't really have too much vision onto the high ground here as there are not really any windows or or whatnot in these structures except for that little factory complex they're currently occupying which does have some but it's going to be blocked as well. But now we see already all these other teams making their move here. Uh, even Makandurian Jap also making their way over but I think they did manage to put some finishing touches there onto some of these other teams. But looking at uh, how things are, are going to progress here in the northern side we are going to be seeing GIF Esports here setting up shop here as uh, they might be able to catch out Zoop Nightmare from uh, coming in from the northern side, but they move a little bit further away. But they might actually run into the, the rest of Mix Team here, who are currently uh, on the gas station side. But they don't have too much vision onto that high ground. But now looks like MSK Poseidon here going to try and force the issue here as uh, DJ Lowell able to get down two knocks there. But he gets taken down by Legendary X7. And now Crisania here going to come in and try and do what he can to try and put the finishing touches. But looks like DJ Lowell going to face the burn here as, uh, as does uh, UGM as they get eliminated by both FFG and... Uh, Fluxus Jaeger King there. So now Legendary X7 gets out at the right time here. And Crisania going to have to try and do this with the not much uh, of a chance in that sense. Nice timing there from Legendary X7. And it looks like uh, MSK going to try and come in here. It looks like Josh will be able to finish it. But now things are heating up around the El Azahar side. As we do see these uh, teams all moving in at the moment. And uh, looks like Makanduri Jap facing a little bit of problems. It looks like Missionary here down for his squad and uh, currently Dreams is stuck in between um, both Team 5050 squad number 9 as well as uh, Horny Uncles. Horny Uncles just gonna try and uh, put more pressure onto him. Dreams just trying to back out a little bit here as he does know he doesn't need to get into the circle but he does have the, the team members from Padu Madu just uh, over the hill here which could actually prevent further encroachment here but dreams gonna face problems here from foxtrot as uh he's moving up onto him and looks like that's going to be it for makandurian jap here guys and uh now looking at how things are progressing we already see that red sea currently has a very good position in the center of the circle not too much in the way of hardcover and uh, looks like msk is still gonna have that high ground on the southern side but looks like uh J Gaming Foxy here going to get caught out for Team 5050 and that's going to be it for them as they go out in 12th place. And now on the low ground we've got the three team members from Horny Uncles. The blue zone is on the move. They actually do need to make that transition really quickly here otherwise they're going to be in a lot of trouble and it's exacerbated by the fact that it's currently they are so much on the low ground but looks like A6 here facing a absolute barrage there as he gets annihilated by both uh, FFG as well as Flux's Jaeger King here on the high ground as they try and move into a better position. Currently, we do see FFG here on the low ground at the moment and it might be difficult for them to transition up onto high ground depending on where this next zone is going to be. But almost everyone has managed to get into the zone for the time being here. And it looks like uh, Zoom Nightmare here should be able to get inside but they are going to be a little bit more exposed onto the high ground here as it uh, looks like Errol going to try and back down just a little bit here. Rain Zara and Jang's going to still be up here as they move down. But looks as though that there is going to be a lot of pressure coming out from these two team members of Padumadu as they try and prevent further advancement from the two remaining team members of Horny Uncles after knocking down one of their players. It looks like Frostbell going to go down but takes out uh, Eerie as well. But looks like Uncle Asmi here going to try and get up here and put the finishing touches. And looks like Kunshan not looking at the right moment there and he gets uh, eliminated. So now in the northern side we see Rixis and the rest of... Uh, uh, GIF Esports just trying to put some shots towards Zoop Nightmare's direction there. They do want to try and control that space, but they do actually also have the mixed team uh, coming up from the low ground as currently the circle has shifted a little bit up to the, towards the north here. But now it looks like Rain Zera here going to put some touches here. He knocks down Aaron already, but now it looks like KNY got going to get the flank here. So KNY got just going to back down a little bit here as he finishes off Jags and Rain Zera. So, uh, 
Jenks, try not to whack it. <laughs> if uh, you can resist the temptation, but yes, in any case, uh, looks like the they will still continue here. Three of the team members from the mixed team ten. But now looking at how things are developing at the moment, MSK is still going to be inside the zone, but they might have to contend with the players here from Flux's Jaeger King. And now we will see. Uh, Red Seed right in the center of the circle trying to dole out as much damage as they can here in these closing stages of the game uh, But they are currently right in the center here. They could face problems here should MSK come down from the high ground But currently they do have a little bit of hard cover. They have do have the shack available to them FFG just gonna stay put there in that compound on the low ground and currently team crayon currently occupying the northern side here but a little bit west of the position that's occupied by Giff Esports. So Giff Esports still looking pretty strong here. But KNY God has reconnected with the rest of Team Mix, uh, Team 10 Mix team as they currently still occupy that gas station. Now this circle is going to be pretty big here. So it's still going to allow these teams to pretty much do what they like. It's not really going to force them into too many difficult situations. But it's the next circle which is going to be a little bit more interesting. But it looks like Udin the King here actually manages to, to spot Red Sea here. And now he's going to start raining a little bit of uh, pain here. As uh, they are in nade range for the time being here. But Pokoyo currently using the terrain as much as he can. But he's getting hit long range by Gip Esports for the time being here. And uh, gonna make things difficult. And we saw Team Crayon here, just just trying to stay it, play it cool here, and not really uh, try and push things a little bit too much. As otherwise, uh, things could end very badly. But it looks like the the team members from Horny Uncles currently advancing on the position occupied by MSK Poseidon. And now Phase Six of the Circle is gonna reveal itself pretty soon and currently these teams are just going to wait and see whether or not they get the fortune of being inside the zone and it looks like it's shifted towards the west side so it looks like red sea going to be in a decent position except the fact that they're going to have three different teams moving generally in this direction ffg um, is very close to them but they don't have any cover down there and uh i think at least uh a team Crayon here going to be in a decent position. We already see the team members from Mixed Team 10 here actually making their move. And uh, looks like we could be seeing um, this advancement by the team members of GIF Esports towards their west, which they are going to run into Team Crayon at the moment. SC Rum and Insane Floyd just going to try and hold out for the time being here before things get a little bit too uh, dicey here for the time being. But looking at how things are developing here, uh, it looks as though that this could very well be the case. Red Sea is still holding their position. They're going to get that nice loot crate here for the time being. But now we see that Team Crayon here is going to have to fend off uh, Rixis, Mr. Pa, and Dara Jaybad here. And it looks like uh, taking a lot of hits. Asirum goes down, but Insane Floyd going to pull off a miracle right there. Uh, now he just needs to get Rixis here. But currently, Rixis is, does have a little bit of cover there. He should be able to get Mr. Pa up. But I can't say the same for Asirum. But Insane Floyd really needs to heal here. But he doesn't have a lot of room to move as the oncoming uh, pressure from uh, the rest of Flux's Jaeger King is going to be quite high. And uh, looks like the, the bike has been mobilized here by Mr. Pa and Rixis here. They're taking a lot of hits. Dara Jaybot there is going to be finished off. Mr. Pa going to try and withdraw from the other direction but now looking at how things are on the southern side as well we do see that team members from horny uncles are just trying to do their best but red sea gonna put up a lot of pressure as they blow up uh, rixus's bike there so a uh, little bit unfortunate for him and uh, he's gonna get picked off and uh looks like dara jbot here also gonna get picked off at long range by papa zaya here so a uh, nice little pickup there but looks like red sea under the crosshairs of uh Mixed Team 10 as they are moving in. And Mr. Pa rather kill himself rather than uh, be taken alive here. But Insane Floyd can still be uh, inside the zone. Yeah, he's just barely inside. But looking at things here, Sophia and the rest of Mixed Team 10 going to put pressure back onto Horny Uncles currently, who are all the way in the northern side. So now we will be looking whether or not that... Uh, I, uh, Red Sea is still alive here. They're, they do have all these teams around them, but no one is really pushing in just yet. But now Pokoyo is going to try and uh, fend off any potential push here. He has a little bit of a dip here to try and uh, prevent further advancement from coming out unless... Uh, Mixed Team 10 still has a number of nades here, but it looks like KNY God gonna get caught out by Uncle Asmi here as he gets uh, shot at long range by the SKS. But now it looks like MSK gonna try and take this fight here. They do not want to uh, have to do this later on. And it looks like Uncle Asmi here gonna get caught out. Frostbell as well, and Foxtrot is gonna try and come up over the top as well. 
And it looks like Josh here going to finish it off for MSK. And they have nine kills in this game. Now, ooh, looks like FFG going to be in a good position here. But it looks like uh, the rest of uh, Jaeger King is going to try and do their best from this high ground. They are throwing the nades down. And uh, Adul, ooh, lucky with the little bounce there. But it looks like Haha goes moving in from the high ground here. He is able to get... Jinkalewa and currently now we see the mixed team 10 here it does have KNY got back up and now Pokoyo gonna try and hold him off all by himself for the time being as uh now Insane Floyd also raining his own long range fire after being subject to much of it for quite some time there for as a sole surviving uh team member for team crayon but now looks like uh Peter Tan here gonna try and uh Get in a little bit here as he tries to fend off this push coming in from the rest of uh, Mixed Team. But now Red Sea in a little bit of trouble here. I think uh, one of their players, or Pokoyo rather, has just been knocked down. Hahagus is going to be the last guy here. They have 8 kills already, but it's going to take a, a big play here from Hahagus to try and finish this off as the, the oncoming advancement from Team Mixed Team 10 is going to be a little bit difficult, but it looks like Insane Floyd going to get caught out, caught out by Lion Desert there as uh, he's able to spot him out. But it looks like uh, Chrisane, uh, Josh and Azora here for MSK going to try and put up some pressure here. And it looks like Josh going to be able to finish it here. So MSK claiming 11 kills here so far in round number two. But it looks like um, FFG still has one player left alive, MX518. But Hahagus also the last member for Red Sea here as he tries to survive. But now the mixed team is going to try and uh, move a little bit further towards the, the high ground. Peter Tan is moving in as well. Currently, looks like Kane Wygaard going to get caught out by Hahagus. So Sophia and Peter Tan forced to engage here and try and see whether they can save their teammate. Sophia getting caught out a little bit here. Looks like Peter Tan engaging at right when uh, MSK is on his back as well. So Hahagus going to pick up another couple kills there for a total of seven so far in this game. So he's having a great game here. But unfortunately, he is the last team member left. And now it's going to be a two-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one situation. MSK currently has the advantage having two players still up. And looks like FFG just going to stay on the low ground with... Uh, MX518 here and now Josh and Azora here just going to try and see what kind of vision that they can get onto Hahagus currently he is just going to try and make things as difficult as possible for any uh, further advancement onto this territory but it looks like it's going to be MSK that has to make the moves here as uh, currently oh looks like FFG also going to shoot at Hahagus so you can't seem to catch a break right here but currently with his killing form he should be able to take out these guys but uh, he does have the zone ready MX518 going to just stay put for the time being here. He can't exactly move up the high ground too easily here. But can he catch his, his Zora here all by uh, by that ledge over there? I think he's just going to try and focus on Hahagus for the time being. He does have the more dangerous angle. But looks like Azora going to catch him out there. And now it's going to be Hahagus versus uh, MSK Poseidon. And now Hahagus taking a few hits himself. He's going to have to get that heal off. And uh, now the flank is coming in. Josh is going to advance on his position. I don't know whether he's got any more nades. But he catches a, a sight of uh, Hahagus. And he's going to get a little bit of backup from Azora there. And it looks like MSK is going to take this round number two guys and um they did so with uh two members only for quite some time there so they managed to pick good fights at teams which are already engaged here and there and is Iz Zora here able to claim eight kills in the game so that's i think the highest single total uh so far in this game here and uh josh of course also uh, really pulling through here for msk and in second place we did get uh Hahogo stay alive right to the end for red sea as he turned out seven kills for his own just one shy of azora here but still a good performance red sea did hold that central position there and uh Quite fortunate that they didn't have too many teams uh, all advancing on their position at the same time. Of course, there was going to be MSK that was on the higher ground earlier on, but I think they wanted to focus on clearing out those teams onto the higher ground there before they started making any advancement into the central parts of the circle. And in third place, we do have Team FFG here, who did manage to hang out there on the low ground there for quite some time there, but Azora was able to catch out um, the last player there, and that was going to be it for 518. And in fourth place, we do have Mixed Team 10 here as... Uh, they were able to hang out there for quite a while, but then they were caught in a crossfire. Haha <laughs> Goose as well as MSK going to town onto them there. So that was a bit unfortunate there as they did have the, the highest number of team members at that point in the game. And uh, 
in fifth place, it is going to be uh, Flux's Jaeger King as they managed to hold on to that western side for quite some time there. But then they also had to contend with the push coming in from uh, MSK and they were a finish off in just a flash there. So guys, that was uh, the end of round number two. So uh, hope you're enjoying the stream here. So we'll be taking a short break here for the time being. And uh, when we return, we'll bring to you round three of the Battle Arena PUBG scrims, okay? So uh, see you in just a bit. <laughs> 